So you're watching this video because you've been seeing all the buzz going around about the new Mustang and the new Mustang GT. I just covered a video about kind of the lackluster <laughs> expressions on some of the reviewers. If you haven't seen it, you can check that video out here. But in this video, I want to go ahead and talk about something a little bit more important, something that is indisputable no matter what the person's expression is, and that is the price. The price difference from the outgoing 2023 Mustang GT and the new 2024 Mustang GT. There is more to the price than you might think. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okie dokie. So the new 2024 Mustang is more expensive. We knew this. It is a lot more expensive than a 2023 for varying reasons. Uh, one definitely is economic impacts on the entire auto industry, not just Ford, not just the Mustang, compared to their outgoing model. However, regardless of economic impacts, there is intentional price increases on Ford's end that is roped into the new Mustang. And some of the increases are completely hidden and you wouldn't know it unless you looked for it. And up until deciding to make this video, I didn't even know about these price increases. With that said, uh, there are some interesting differences between the price of a 2023 Mustang GT and a 2024 Mustang GT. And I'm gonna go into that right now. So first and foremost, we'll look right here and we're gonna focus on a standard GT, not a premium for both the 2023 and 2024. So basically comparing starting prices of a GT Mustang for both 23 and 24 model years. And in 2023, you can see here, it starts at 38,345. Hey, that's not bad. What does a new 2024 Mustang GT start at? $42,495, wow! That is a whopping difference of $4,150. Base model over base model, one year after another. That is a huge difference. I mean, that is like a whole package, like that's a whole trim package difference in price just for base model over base model. But you'll notice once you start adding packages, things change. So going into that even more, we'll go back over here to our 2023. Let's say we'll keep our 301A package there. Let's say we wanna make a nice performing car. We want the performance package on our Mustang GT. So then we add the performance package right here for $6,700. That is a lot. Man, that is too much. In fact, a lot of people say that is overpriced. I will agree. This price here that Ford charged for the performance package on a 2023 Mustang is astronomically ridiculous. I don't even know if that was the right term, but I think it pretty much explains how stupid expensive it is. So if we go and look, here's all our things. Let's go to our 2024 and let's add the GT performance package to it which is less than $5,000, $4,995, which is a difference of $1,705. Now, between both the 301A package and the performance package, the price differences between the 2024 and the 2023, we already now have a $2,205 difference between the two. As in, it's $2,205 more to have got all of the same things on a 2023 than what it costs on a new 2024. But it still hasn't completely offset the price difference of the new Mustang. We are still, we're halfway there, but it hasn't completely offset it. Let's go back to our 2023. Now, let's say we really want to build the ultimate driving Mustang without getting too crazy. We don't care about leather. We don't care about all the bells and whistles that you would get with a premium. We just want raw performance for the dollar. That's what we're going for here. That's what we're doing. So for that, we want the Magna Ride, which is $1,695. The Magna Ride system is probably one of the best factory suspension systems you can get. Like basically get the Magna Ride. If you want it to sit a little lower, there's plenty of 
lowering springs, four magnet ride systems, and call it a day. Your car will look good. It will handle better than pretty much anything you can throw at it for the money. Like in order to get the same amount of handling from the magnet ride, you would have to spend probably the equivalent of, or if not more money on a super high-end coilover setup that is not adjustable by a flip of a switch. So I would definitely have bought the magna ride for $1,695. That's not bad. The caveat to it is in order to order the magna ride system, you have to have the 301A package. So if you were just going for a standard base car and wanted to add magna ride, you can't do that, sadly. Uh, so realistically, the total cost of magna ride is not just the cost of Magnaride, it's also including the cost of the 301A package, which is $2,500. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and add our active valve exhaust because we wanna be able to control every aspect of our car from a flip of a switch and just have complete control over the driving modes and experience and character of the car. So now we have a fully customizable driving experience between the ride, the sound, everything. We have a pretty base car. We're still rocking a manual, so there's no extra charge there. We're still rocking cloth seats, everything. None of that is a charge. Um, you know, we got the nine speaker system, a little bit better sync three. So we got a nicer touchscreen radio in our 2023. We just have a nice car here. Now with all of that, which is not even crazy, mind you, just, just building a base car. We look at our price. And we're at $50,840 for this car. Let's go over to the 2024. Let's start doing the same treatment. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna rock the manual transmission. We're gonna go ahead, add our active exhaust because it's the same price, why not? And then we're gonna go ahead and add our Magna Ride. Wait, where is it? Where's Magna Ride? Powertrains, transmission, rear axle ratio, packages. It's not part of the packages. Uh, where is Magna Ride? I don't see it. It's not here. Maybe it's in the summary. 5.0, 6 speed, 373 axle, 301 package, performance package, summer tires, performance wing, active exhaust, Brembo brakes. There's no Magna Ride. Oh my God, you can't get Magna Ride on a base GT? What about if I upgrade to, I don't know, say, I, say okay, I'll spend the extra money over that to get a, a premium. I didn't care about leather, but I want that Magna Ride. Let's try it. Let's go in here. Let's look around, go down our list. We're looking, we're looking. Oh, here it is. I can only get Magna Ride on the GT Premium. So Magna Ride, you see, we have to add the performance package, that's fine. The Magna Ride is the same on the outgoing models, it is on the new one, but in order to get it, you have to spend extra $5,000 for the <laughs> Premium package just to get it. So when you equip it the same way, if you're just going for uh, excellent driving car. You have now the 401A because it's a premium. You have your performance package. You have uh, you have the Magna Ride system, active exhaust. Great. Now we are the same as our 2023. Is the price any different? Is it any cheaper? Absolutely not. Oh, $59,480. That is $8,000 and change more. Here, we'll, we'll pull up the exact number. $8,640 more than a 2023 equipped the same way. As close as you can get because the way they have packaged this now, you can't get a cheap car. You can't build just a like a basic performance car. Ford has packaged everything where you can't do that. They have gatekeeped the Magna Ride to premium package only, so you need to spend a lot of extra money for the same performance. And if you don't care about the leather, heated and cooled seats, and like the B&O sound system, and all these other things, and you just wanted a nice driving car with modern features, 
you're spending $8,000 more because you can't get all the same things. Now, with that said, if you were just leave Magnaride out of the equation, something interesting happens. That means you can go back to base 2024 Mustang. So you still want the six speed, you still want all the same things. Okay, so now we are back to where we were. No Magnaride, just a raw driving machine. We'll upgrade the suspension down the road. Now we're at $52,310. We're still more money for a 2024 Mustang without Magnaride than we are with the 2023 with Magnaride, equipped as identical as possible. No matter which way you slice it, the new Mustang ends up being so much more money. Some of the packages are a better value over the outgoing model, but once you start adding them all together, it either still ends up being more money for the same features or it equals out. So you're not really getting any better of a deal, like load it up, load it up, it's still gonna be more expensive. Now, with that said, there is a big difference that's hiding in plain sight right here on both of these pages that some consumers might not be aware about and when it comes to the new cars, of course, there are two big things. One is no matter what, if you're buying a new car, you are stuck with paying the destination charge. Currently on a 2023 Mustang, you were paying $1,395 to get your car from Ford's factory to your dealership lot. On a 2024 Mustang, that went up $200 to 1,595. So there we have another price increase that is kind of hidden. And a lot of people don't think about destination charges, but there it is. It's even more money to have your car shipped. So it's more money to start with, it's more money to get it shipped. And unfortunately, there's another $1,000 that you have to pay to get a 2024 Mustang over a 2023 GT Mustang. And that is the fact that now the 2024 Mustang is hit with a gas guzzler tax over 2023. Now with this, I can't necessarily say it's Ford's fault. I more or less blame this on the ridiculous, you know, ever increasing governmental restrictions and all this crap. And I guess Ford, you know, that maybe they could have kept it under it, but they kind of probably would have neutered it too much. You know, just have to expect the consumers are going to pay that. But if you buy a new 2024 Mustang GT, you are going to have to pay an extra thousand dollars in the gas guzzles or tax. So when you factor in the two hundred dollar difference between the destination charges, the thousand dollar difference on the gas guzzles or tax and the base difference between the base model the base model 2023 GT and a base model 2024 GT, you get a total difference of $5,350, which makes the 2024 Mustang more expensive with nothing added. You are same car, most of the same options with a few additional standard features now, but now it's $5,350 more for the same pit package. Yikes. That sucks. That really does suck. And I would have to say that a smart consumer would be picking one of these up new because you're not going to get charged gas bills or tax on a used vehicle and you're not going to get charged a destination fee on a used vehicle. So right there is $2,600 saved just by buying used. Not to mention the initial uh, depreciation factor when you buy a new car. And I think total, a smart consumer can offset the differences between the new model and the outgoing model and price by buying it used. That would be my recommendation if you were interested in a new 2024 Mustang GT, just because that the difference between the two, uh, 2023 and 2024 is so substantial. Like it is truly shocking how much more it is. And until I started making this video, I did not even have a clue. I knew there was some differences, but I didn't realize that the destination charges have went up, that there's a gas guzzler or tax now, and there's just all these other things that are now more expensive about the new car, which is just really bad. Like it just, it makes it a tough sell. Like once again, it just makes it a really tough sell for existing S550 owners, especially if you have a 2023 or a relatively new S550, hold on to your baby van pick a 2024 up in a year or two on the used market, you'll be so much better off.
Anyways, let me know what you think about all of this crazy price differences. Uh, put your thoughts in the comments section. And uh, I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. If you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for the next Cars Created video.